The day has finally come for Airbus fans around the world to rejoice, because Airbus has announced that they are finally going to make an A350 freighter. For many years, Airbus fans, financial analysts, and airlines have been wanting to see an Airbus launch a freighter program based off of their A350 platform. But Airbus had been quite evasive, constantly sidestepping conversation regarding the topic of A350 freighters. Their main goal was to get out as many passenger-only A350s to market, because they were playing catch-up. The competition, Boeing's 787, had been out, flying for airlines a full three years before Airbus delivered its first commercial A350 to Qatar in January 2015. And at a list price of $320 million, Airbus's A350s were 10% more expensive than Boeing's 787s. So they had to work to make production as efficient as possible so they could eventually lower that price. Now, efficient as possible doesn't mean, okay, let's make an entirely new variant. So the A350 freighter had to wait. But that waiting is over. Sort of. Not really. In a call today, Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauri said that they're aiming to get the A350 freighter into the hands of customers by 2025. So we'll have to wait for another Olympics to come and go. But instead of being sad, let's look at some details regarding the new variant. Fauri said that it will be predominantly based off of the A350-1000 platform, and will be able to lift about 90 tons or more, which is comparable to the 777 freighter. What seriously intrigues me is what Fauri means by predominantly based. The only practical difference between A350 variants is the length of fuselage, so I'm wondering if this means that the freighter version will be the same length as the Dash 1000, but maybe also incorporate extra fuel? Like in the Dash 900's ultra long range version. Only time will tell. All this news is sure to be welcomed by Airbus fans who have had to endure the freighter market being absolutely dominated by Boeing. Because the only wide body commercial freighter Airbus has sold is the A330 Dash 200 freighter. Which really never was quite popular. In fact, Airbus couldn't even sell more than 40 units of the type. With not only its slimming aft fuselage, but also a bent floor, plus its relative inefficiency compared to competitors, the low sales numbers make sense. To add insult to injury, the aircraft can't even fly directly between coastal China and Europe. With this being the world's second largest trade corridor, that's quite the disadvantage the A330 freighter has. That's why you primarily only saw it with Arab and Turkish carriers, since their hubs are somewhat centered within the Asia to Europe route. I do expect the A350 freighter to sell quite well. Not only are freighters in hot demand, many of them are quite old these days and are more expensive than ever to maintain. So airlines are begging the aircraft manufacturers for something new and capable, which the A350 definitely is. If Airbus can get their wide-body freighter out before Boeing releases their 777X freighter, which unless Airbus messes up horrendously, they totally will, It'll be Boeing trying to play catch up this time around. Hey, thanks for watching till the end. I'm pretty new to YouTube, but I am actually trying to do this full time. If you like aviation news, please consider supporting me on Patreon. With literally just a couple hundred supporters, I could do this full time and be making at least two or three videos every single week for you. So thanks for considering, and I'll see you in the next video.